only in silence can you sort of let all the urgency, good intention, emotion, ideas settle and then move from a more centered space, I would say. Um, I think sometimes it takes more the form of prayer, sometimes it takes more the form of meditation, and other times it really just takes a moment of pausing. I'm thinking, for example, about for ex reflection. Often one thinks that reflection is a waste of time, silence is a waste of time. It is difficult in today's world to find spaces for silence and for reflecting. We need to find that again, because if we don't find the space of the spirit within us, we are not going to be able to find it in anywhere, anywhere else. It really is, is quite a moving and profound experience to sit silently and to actually be able to hear another voice give you another idea. And so this voice, um, this inner voice, you can say comes from within you, but as Muslims, our understanding is that it is connected to the divine. Um, and that's where you're getting this kind of inspiration. Taking the time to step back and think and reflect and learn and listen and perhaps even be silent, I think is, is wonderful. And I think there, everyone needs to find what works for them. And, and me, as someone of faith, has also a religious practice to it. But someone needs to, everyone needs to find the sort of spiritual practice that nourish that inner garden. And I think silence is probably one of the best tools we have. Just really uh, getting the time to think about things that you need in your life and things that you want to give to people in your life. And then that quiet is something that I think we're getting less and less of in the world today. It is not easy finding moments of reflection, of silence, of prayer. We need to be even more reflective and more thoughtful than, than you would if we had all the time in the world and the world kind of needs our help so we better think things through.